All right, No Filter MMA family, this will be your boy BJ back with another video short. Guys, I told you the Montana De La Rosa videos were coming, so expect them. This is a mini film study. This is a mini, mini, mini film study of Montana De La Rosa. It's a baby film study. I just wanted to point out a few things about Montana De La Rosa, you know, that since some people say that De La Rosa can't fight on the feet, um, I want to point out some of the things that Montana De La Rosa does very well on the feet. Um, she's going into this fight with Viviani Adarujo. Montana, uh, um, before, you know, coming into this fight, Montana said that she is prepared to stand and trade with Viviani Adarujo, that she cannot bank on the getting this fight to the ground. If the opportunity presents itself to get to the ground, then Montana De La Rosa says she will take the fight to the ground. But she said in this fight, she is prepared to stay on the feet if it if it comes to that. So I just want and, and, and I've been saying all along that Montana De La Rosa is fully capable of competing with people on the feet. I mean she fought Andrea Lee and that fight was very competitive. Um so and and, and, and Andrea Lee is, is is a is a very accomplished Muay Thai fighter, kickboxer, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, Montana De La Rosa is a very well rounded fighter and I'm going to point out a few things that De La Rosa does very well. So first off, in this clip, guys, I want in the first few clips here, I'm going to highlight the jab of Montana De La Rosa. I always say that, you know, Montana has a great long, stiff jab. I always talk about her size. I mean, look at here versus KGB. I mean, Montana, obviously the bigger fighter, the longer, taller fighter. Um, so let's see. I want to show you guys a few examples of Montana pumping that jab and using that jab and, and using her size to her advantage. All right, guys, here we go. Look at Montana, how she throws that jab out there. Look at that. Watch how long her jab is. Look at that. Slip and punch it. Now let's go back and watch that again. Now let's watch this clip again. Let's go back and watch it again. Jab. Look how stiff that jab is. Now watch how she... Jab, slip, one, two, boom, boom. Look at that. Guys, I've said, you know, many times that Montana De La Rosa uses that long, stiff jab very well, and she does. And we saw it here where she, um, you know, jab, slip, one, two, boom, landed that power right hand on Andrea KGB. She's very rudimentary, but her striking... Her, her rudimentary striking works very well. She has a good boxing coach, a boxing coach that can lead her to, you know, being competitive on the feet with strikers. Now, in this video, I want to just, you know, I'm still highlighting the jab of De La Rosa. Um, I want to look at how De La Rosa keeps the distance with the jab, stops KGB from coming in. Um, just, just, just let's look at the, 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 the movement of Montana plus the jab. Montana's Montana striking has come a long way, guys. Check out how Montana moves into these strikes. Look at this. Look at this jab. Boom. Moving. In and out. Boom. In and out. Montana. In and out. You know, you guys really should pay more attention to Montana by, you know, by just and just not say that she can't strike. Montana De La Rosa can strike. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, guys, she uses that jab. Look at this. Look how she uses, look how she uses the jab here. In and out, boom, in and out. Look at that. Avoiding, you know, allow, not allowing KGB to counter her. In and out with the jab. She sticks the jab, and then she's back out, and she instantly resets. Instantly resets and ready to throw another jab. Now, we all know that Montana De La Rosa is primarily known as a grappler, so we know that um, Montana De La Rosa is good on the ground. I'm not going to study her ground game here. Um, we know that she's one of the best grapplers in the division. But what I want to highlight is look at how Montana throws the jab and then instantly goes for the takedown. This is what I'm saying, guys. Montana De La Rosa mixes up her game very well, very well. Take a look at this, how, she's, how she throws the jab and then instantly takes KGB to the ground. Look at that. Jab, duck, boom. Instantly gets the takedown. Let's watch that one more time, guys. Jab, whoo, boom. Instantly gets the fight to the ground. All right, so Viviani Adarujo is going to have to watch out for Montana De La Rosa, the mixing up of Montana De La Rosa. Montana is going to mix this, mix the striking and grappling up. She's going to hide the takedowns 
um, behind the striking if she doesn't settle into the strike. If Montana decides to mix it up, she will mix it up. If she decides to take this fight to the ground, then we'll see more of this. We'll see more of her striking, throwing that jab to confuse Viviana Yadarujo, and then boom, instantly shooting for the takedown. Look at that, boom. I mean, that is a perfect entry to a takedown um, from Montana De La Rosa. That is the perfect entry. All right, guys, let's go to the next one. Now here, guys, I want to highlight the power of Montana De La Rosa. Um, no one says that she has a lot of power. She does have a lot of power. She has a very powerful one-two. Like I said, guys, very rudimentary in her striking. Now, when she's throwing the one-two coming off the jab, then, you know, that's just to keep the distance, fill out one-two. But when Montana commits to that right hand, then you see her really throw power out of that right hand. And coming out in the second round of the fight with KGB, Montana was feeling the heat from KGB. So what does Montana do? Starts landing those big shots. Check this out. Boom. Now watch her again. Watch this second right hand. Boom. Montana De La Rosa in and out with the power. One, two, boom. She's out of there. One, two, boom. Montana De La Rosa is out. Let's look at this one more time. Look at that. Watch the right hand. Boom. Montana De La Rosa has a lot of power in that right hand. I keep telling y'all that she has power in that right hand. Lots and lots of power in that right hand. She has, I believe Montana De La Rosa will, in her career, she will get a couple of knockouts. I think she will get, she will score a couple of knockouts in her in her career. Um, and we've seen her, like, I'll show you that footage, the Mara Romero Barella footage later. But I just want to show that Adarujo is going to have to watch out for the power Coming from De La Rosa, um, you know, so once again, mixing it up. Now we, we've seen Montana throwing, you know, very basic, very rudimentary strikes on the feet with the jab. You know what I'm saying? And we've seen Montana uh, throw power so far. We've seen Montana with good movement, in and out movement. We've seen Montana with good lateral movement. Now we see Montana pumping that right hand, throwing with the power. And, and 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 let you know and, and backing up KGB. That's what she did. She backed KGB up with the power. Let's go on to the next one. All right, guys. So here what we see again is Montana De La Rosa mixing up the fight, mixing up the style, showing the different, you know, the different angles of her game. Check this out. Boom. Whoop. Mix right into the takedown. Right into the takedown. Right to the leg. Grabs the leg and takes KGB down. You know what I'm saying? I mean, she can do this all night long. De La Rosa can literally do this all night long. That is what Viviani Adarujo is going to have to watch out for is the mixing up of De La Rosa. Because if De La Rosa, if she, if she finds out that she can get Viviani Adarujo down easily and dominate her on the ground, she's going to keep this fight. She's going to take this fight to the ground. She's going to strike with Viviani and she's going to do just what we see right here. Just that right there, take Viviani down and dominate her on the ground. You know what I'm saying? Montana, this is a win. She has to win this fight. Montana De La Rosa knows the pressure that's on her as far as her place in this division. You know what I'm saying? This is the fight that she needs to win to do it. And she's going to do, she's going to, I feel like De La Rosa, she's changed fight camps. She's going to work every angle of her game. She's going to show off how she's sharpened her tools. And she's going to be a much better version of Montana De La Rosa. Let's go on to the next one, guys. All right, guys. So right here, I want to highlight the movement. Look at this. Lateral, 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 lateral. Sets up for the jab. So, so De La Rosa sets up for the jab. She, got, she, 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 she utilizes her footwork, her lateral movement, sets up for the jab. And then here we go again, Montana De La Rosa pumping the jab. Check her out. Look how long her, look how long her jab is, man. Boom. Look at, look at that. Look, and it's fast. She has a fast, long, stiff jab. And she's going to have to work that jab in this fight with Adarujo. Check her out again. Sets up perfectly. 
boom. Look at him. Moves, repositions, resets, and boom. Montana De La Rosa has a hell of a jab, guys. Hell of a jab. All right, let's move on. All right, guys, so here we go again. Here we go again with the power of Montana De La Rosa. Now, she, she, like I said, her boxing is very rudimentary, very basic, but she puts it together well. Watch how Montana De La Rosa lands this right hand on Rachel Ostevich, catches Rachel Ostevich moving wildly like we know that Viviani Adarujo does. Check out, check out how Montana catches Rachel Ostevich on the exit here. Watch this. Boom, bing. Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let's watch that one more time, guys. Poof. There we go, right there. So what happens? Montana catches Rachel Ostevich slipping. She caught her slipping on the exit, being wild, throwing a wild punch like we know that Viviani Adarujo does. And if Montana De La Rosa can stick to her basic boxing against Viviani, don't try to go out there and be wild. If she sticks with the basics, she'll catch Adarujo on those, on those wild shots that she throws. Check this out one more time. I'm going to play this again. Very patient with her boxing. Very basic. Now watch how... Look at Osovich getting wild. And what does De La Rosa do? She stays calm. She stays composed and lands that big right hand like I said she like about like I've always said she has that big right hand she 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 stayed patient she let Rachel Ostevich get wild and what did Montana do caught her slipping with that right hand and wobbled her and backed her up so who now who do we see in a dominant position here we see Rachel Ostevich standing straight up and we see Montana De La Rosa coiled ready to throw that big right hand and then, last but not least, guys, we have the fight with Mara Romero Barella. Um, Mara Romero was content in standing in the pocket and fighting Montana De La Rosa, and this was the result of it. Boom. Boom. Montana De La Rosa drops Mara Romero Barella with a big right hand. So, you know, let's play this one more time. Bingo. I'm telling you guys, the right hand of Montana De La Rosa is something that you guys really need to give her credit for. She's got a lot of power in that right hand, and when she lands that right hand the right way, whoever she's fighting is going to go down. They're going to feel that right hand for sure. So I just wanted to highlight that, guys. I wanted to highlight a few things, a few assets, a few pluses when it comes to the striking of Montana De La Rosa. In case you guys, like I said, if you, have, if you haven't watched her videos, I'm not going to argue with you. So, um... <laughs> just wanted to highlight a few things from De La Rosa and let you guys know that this fight is going to be very competitive with Viviani Adarujo. Some people are not giving De La Rosa a chance. I just want to let you guys know. Hopefully this video can show you guys, you know what I'm saying, why I fucks with De La Rosa so much. You know what I'm saying? I see somebody who is 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 is, is can, that can most definitely be a champion in the UFC. That's what I see, guys. And so Look at look back at this video again, guys. Take a look at what I'm saying. What I'm saying is legit. I back my shit up with facts. And uh, let me know what you think. This is your boy BJ back from No Filter MMA. Drop those comments in the comment section. Hit that like button. Hit that dislike button. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And I'm out.